More than 130 countries have agreed to a major reform of the international tax system finalized by the Paris-based OECD. The tentative deal would change the way big multinational companies are taxed. Under the agreement, countries would enact a minimum global corporate tax of 15% on the biggest companies from the year 2023. It also aims to stop global corporations from slashing tax bills by registering in nations with low rates. Countries are aiming to sign a multilateral convention in 2022 with an eye on implementing the reform in 2023. Once implemented, the deal could reap an estimated 150 billion US dollars for government coffers annually. The rate will apply to companies with revenue exceeding $867 million. In addition to the minimum rate, the 136 countries also agreed to re reallocate more than 125 billion US dollars of profits from around 100, 100 of the world's most profitable multinationals to countries worldwide. The agreement among 136 countries was announced by the Paris-based Organization for Cooperation and Economic Development, which hosted the talks that led to it. OECD Secretary General Matthias Coleman said in a tweet, today's agreement will make our international tax arrangements fairer and work better. French finance minister made the announcement in a video address where he described the changes as a tax revolution. Cet accord ouvre la voie à une véritable révolution fiscale pour le 21e siècle. C'est une révolution fiscale d'abord parce que nous ne reviendrons pas en arrière. C'est une révolution fiscale parce que c'est plus de justice en matière de fiscalité. Enfin, les géants du numérique vont payer leur juste part d'impôts dans les pays dont la France, dans lequel ils font des profits. This agreement at the level of the OECD is clearly a tax revolution. A tax revolution which will lead to less unfairness, to more justice, to more efficiency in the way we will tax the uh, the uh, digital giants and in the way we will put in place a minimum taxation. U.S. President Joe Biden has been one of the driving forces behind the agreement as governments around the world seek to boost revenue following the COVID-19 pandemic. Hailing the deal, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said in a statement, today's agreement represents a once-in-a-generation accomplishment for economic diplomacy. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen called it a historic moment, saying all companies have to pay their fair share. The big U.S. tech companies like Google and Amazon have supported the OECD negotiations. This could be because countries would agree to withdraw individual digital services taxes imposed on them in return for the right to tax a part of their earnings under the global scheme. That means the companies would deal with just one international tax regime and not a multitude of different ones depending on the country. The global tax reform push moved closer to reality as Hungary agreed to join. It was one of the last holdouts. Hungary's announcement came a day after another key opponent, Ireland, relented and agreed to join the global effort. Ireland's low tax rate has attracted the, li the likes of Apple and Google, leading them to base their European operations there. With Hungary, 136 countries representing 90% of global gross domestic product have now signed up. But developing countries have raised objections. Nigeria, Kenya, Pakistan and Sri Lanka have indicated they will not sign up. The deal faces several hurdles before it can take effect. It will be taken up by the group of 20 finance ministers next week and then by G20 leaders for final approval at a summit in Rome at the end of, at the end of October. U.S. approval of related tax legislation proposed by Biden will be key, especially since the U.S. is home to many of the biggest multinational companies. A rejection by Congress would cast uncertainty over the entire project.